three swim medals for two muscles. One's latissimus, the other one's subscapularis. Okay. So to examine latissimus, you just it's one of the muscles of the posterior axillary fold, and you just roll that between your fingers there. And if it's tight enough to cause a, the problem, it'll be um, it'll, you'll get a jump sign. Okay, but I can't emphasize too strongly how important that jump sign is in your diagnosis because there are lots of tender muscles in the body and what you're looking for is the one that's causing the pain. Okay, so what I've done here is I've squeezed the muscle, rolled it, found the worst. It's, yours isn't too bad, is it, Eric? There's a spot just a little bit lower. Somewhere around there you hit. Yeah. There? Yes, close to that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm squeezing, and what I'm doing is I'm just rolling off a little bit, putting the tube just in front of my finger there, and... Little, little ache there. And what I want is a reasonable big ache. A little achy, yeah. I'm trying to feel it on the back of the arm or anything. Okay. And there is more there. And what I'm trying to show you here is that sometimes you've got to, if you know you're on the right spot, you really gotta got to fish for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, it, yeah. yeah, so that was better. Sometimes you'll feel a twitch, not always. What's more important is that they feel the twitching. Okay, don't get too hung up on twitches. They're nice if you feel them. Um, I think the reasons why dry needlers are so keen on the twitch is because they don't have to talk about the sensation. Mm. Because if they talk about the sensation, we're really drifting into acupuncture territory. And clearly here in the US, this is a really big deal. In Australia, it doesn't seem to matter so much. But in terms of rights of practice, mm -hmm. in Australia, we just go, well, if you don't point yourself at acupuncture, you can do whatever you like. Whereas here, that is, as I understand it, there are all kinds of restrictions about who can do the needling and stuff. We're working on it, okay. okay. So there's Latissimus dorsi. Uh, Terry's major is just down here. This is where it gets good to know your anatomy a bit there. But if you remember the things, infraspinatus was on top, Terry's minor and Terry's major is, is over there. So you're going to come down and palpate down here. Terry's major is right there. So you just need to be able to find your way around these muscles. And I'm just what I'm doing this now for is just to get that sense of, to get this idea of diagnosis. Someone comes in with pain, you do the um, examination. And if you find the single range of restricted movement, you know that this is likely to be a trigger problem. If, it, if it, the muscle pain, the, the pain that the person has is characteristic of the muscle that would cause that, that tight range, you're almost home and hose, you know that this is going to be probably the right way to go and you'll treat and you should get some decent result. Sometimes, however, you'll do the, the, the um, passive range of movement and you won't get a restriction, but there'll still be a finger point in there causing the pain. In that case, it's just you rely on your ability to recognise the pattern and then look at the muscle that can produce that pattern, find the point, and then treat it. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's it.